Hi guys, good morning and welcome to today's Products in Focus. As you'll be able to see there, the US 30 just uh, is just about to breach that all-time high there, close to 16.598. That's potential resistance. This is obviously the all-time high right here, uh, which is around about 16.649. But it's one of the highest closes that we've uh, that we've ever had there on a Friday. And if today continues to go the same way, then this will be yet another record close for the US 30, which in the backdrop of Ukraine is quite interesting, but there has been a lot of positive fundamentals behind um, the, um, the kind of Yellen's dovish comments on the on the US dollar and long-term low interest rates to uh, Draghi's um, own dovish view on the uh, ECB and the Euro. Plus there's been news coming out about massive capital reforms over in China. In fact, a large number of the Asian stock markets had quite a strong day on the back of that. So um, a lot of fundamentals looking quite good. US earnings still remaining to be quite good as well. And uh, obviously Ukraine is simmering away in the background, but it's not really having a huge impact on any US earnings anytime soon, unless things spiral out of control quite, um, quite a lot further. So anyway, UK 100 on the backdrop of that referendum in Ukraine. We are trying to break a little bit higher above 68.39. Uh, we are showing uh, a red candle today indicating that the markets have sold off ever so slightly. Um, this could be an ascending triangle formation. Ultimately, we need to get above 6874 to break fresh ground. If we have a look at the Japanese stock market, uh, Japan 225 is still trading on the wrong side of potential support slash resistance at 14219. Next potential support still remains at 13693. Now, if we have a look at dollar yen, dollar yen actually reversed a lot um, over the weekend, or kind of from Friday until today. Uh, but we've got a kind of a doji formation now. But we are on the right side of 101 spot 80 currently. Uh, it has been a little bit higher today. Uh, we're still hoping to get above 102 spot 87 if the dollar could get some extra momentum. Um, yen still seems to be a defensive play. Now, if we jump on to West Texas crude oil for a second, uh, I'm actually kind of surprised. I thought this would be doing a lot better today. A uh, very negative candle there again on Friday. I was trading a lot higher. I wanted to get pushed back down again. Now we're trading below 100 spot 60, and that level's very strategic in the short term. So this is the level to watch out for today. And uh, you know you've got crude oil inventories on Wednesday. That'll be the next catalyst, probably. Now, if we have a look at gold, gold sold off quite strongly in the morning, uh, or in the Asian session, I should say, only to then um, kind of bounce back again uh, at the start of um, the UK session and the European session. So we're still trading below 1295, which is a very important level, as you can see here. Uh, this is going to be the, the short-term resistance, and uh, this is what many traders should be looking at today, and that's short-term potential resistance. And then we've got short-term potential support at 1267. Uh, and we do have an absence of economic data out today. You can see my economic calendar is blank. You have to go forward on to Tuesday um, to see anything of any significance. We've got more Chinese data uh, due at 6.30 a.m. UK time. And then ZDW uh, business report from Germany followed by retail sales in the US. <clears throat> and then you have to go into Wednesday until you get anything uh, more decent. We've got yeah, UK employment data. You've got your petroleum sales in the US. Um, it's actually quite a light week of economic data, to be fair, but nothing much happened today. If we have a look then at Euro dollar, it's just kind of trying to pick itself up off, off, off the floor, to be honest. Um, you can kind of see there that we had these really negative candles on here. We're slap bang on that 37.72 level, which uh, looks to be short term strategic again, acting as potential resistance right now. Uh, it's looking like it's kind of having a nibble there, but it really needs to break a little bit higher to show some conviction. And if I then jump onto cable to finish things up, it's still having having a, a decent move to the, to the upside after selling off so strongly there uh, last week. This is your uh, your Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, a really bad candle on there. But we've had a bit of a bounce back this morning of potential support close to 68.20 and the 21 period SMA. Um, but there's already a little bit of a sell, a little bit of pressure this morning, trying to keep push it back down. So, so right now, in theory, it's right bang in the middle, middle, middle of two ranges. And in the absence of a lot of economic uh, data announcements, it should be the technicals that should help set the um, set the picture for the rest of the day. Keep your eye on the chart forum as ever. Lots of really cool analysis on um, from our other CMC clients and also from our global analyst team. And make sure you make insights part of your layout going forward. Lots of very interesting insights from our global analyst team today. And join me again tomorrow to find out what happened next.